While I was reading the Testament of Abraham, I came across narrow way and broad way in chapter 11. And of course, I thought about the narrow gate and the wide gate that we read about in Scripture. And so this was also referring to two gates, the one broad on the broad way and the other narrow on the narrow way. And so I was thinking about the scripture that tells us about the narrow gate and the wide gate. It says, enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that lead to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow. And way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Matthew 7 verses 13 and 14. In John fourteen sixteen, Yahushua said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So if we are following the Messiah, we have a full life and the gate that leads into the kingdom of heaven is synonymous with life. Destruction separation us from Elohim. No one comes to the Father but through Messiah. Because as I repeated, He is the way, the truth, and the life. So listen to what it says here in the Testament of Abraham in chapter 11. So Michael turned the chariot and brought Abraham to the east to the first gate of heaven. And Abraham saw two ways, the one narrow and contracted, the other broad and spacious. And there he saw two gates, the one broad on the broad way and the other narrow on the narrow way. And outside the two gates, there he saw a man sitting up on a gilded throne. And the appearance of that man was terrible as of the Lord. And they saw many souls driven by angels and led in through the broad gate and other souls, few in number, that were taken by the angels through the narrow gate. And when the wonderful one who sat up on the golden throne saw few entering through the narrow gate and many entering through the broad gate, straightway that wonderful one tore the hairs of his head and the sides of his beard and threw himself on the ground from his throne, weeping and lamenting. But when he saw many souls entering through the narrow gate, then he arose from the ground and sat up on his throne in great joy, rejoicing and exulting. And Abraham asked the chief captain, My lord, chief captain, who is this most marvelous man? adorned with such glory, and sometimes he weeps and laments, and sometimes he rejoices and exalts. Then Corporal One said, This is the first created Adam, who is in such glory, and he looks upon the world because all are born from him. And when he sees many souls going through the narrow gate, then he arises and sits upon his throne rejoicing and exulting in joy because this narrow gate is that of the just that leads to life, and they that enter through it go into paradise. For this then, the first created Adam rejoices, because he sees the souls being saved. But when he sees many souls entering through the broad gate, then he pulls out his, the hairs of his head and casts himself on the ground, weeping and lamenting bitterly, 
For the broad gate is that of sinners, which leads to destruction and eternal punishment. And for this, the first formed Adam falls from his throne, weeping and lamenting for the destruction of sinners. For they are many that are lost, and they are few that are saved. For in seven thousand there is scarcely found one soul saved, being righteous and undefiled. I just wanted to share chapter 11 that's found in the Testament of Abraham. And we see in this uh, chapter that Adam is looking, he's watching because he knows that all are born from him. So he's looking at the souls that are going through the narrow gate and the wide gate. And you and I know there's a lot of sinners that's on that broad way. And they are falling off into hell. They are killing themselves. They just don't want to do right. They are of darkness and they don't want to come to the light, some of them. But many, some of them are because Yahushua will pray for, for those that will come to know him. And so we see him at, here, Adam. Adam rejoicing when he sees those that are going through the um, narrow gate. Again, this is the first created Adam who is in such glory and he looks up on the world because all are born from him. And when he sees many souls going through the narrow gate, then he arises and sits upon his throne rejoicing and exalting in joy. Because this narrow gate is that of the just that leads to life and they that enter through it go into paradise. I just thought that was interesting that I would see this here. Hallelujah. And so he pulls his hair out when he sees the souls that are, that are not being saved. So I do pray that Father would just continuously anoint us to share forth the Great Commission and the good news of our testimony, our witness that Messiah died, he was crucified, that the people need the truth and they need to hear your voice. So anyway, I give praise to our Heavenly Father for how he showed us so many things, again, that was found in the Testament of Abraham. Hallelujah and Amen.